No, Mikey, no, this is too quick. Too quick, Mikey. Reinstate the Mercedes car from 2014 or 15. Or 16 or, 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 <laughs> Any nine, Mercedes or 19 car. or 20. Or. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Racing here. And Lewis Hamilton has came out and made some absurd comments, in our opinion. We all know Lewis Hamilton. He doesn't like to lose. And I guess you could argue... That's a winner's mentality, but we've seen Lewis Hamilton throw cars under the bus that, in fact, were not that bad. We've seen Total Wolf do it as well. We've seen Total Wolf last year come out and say that the car they made for Hamilton was unacceptable for a seven-time world champ, even though Russell was doing pretty well in it. But anyway, there's, one, there's a difference between making excuses about you and your own car, but there's, a, there's another thing about the latest comments that Lewis Hamilton has made, and he has come out and says that the Red Bull this year is the most dominant car and quickest car he has ever seen. We've had two races, Lewis. We've had two races, mate. Two. And, and I would not say it has shown anywhere near the levels of that 2014 Mercedes. Yeah, so I, 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 this baffles me how Lewis, who's, who's driven, let's be honest, probably, probably the most dominant car of all time. I mean, yeah, maybe before my era there was uh, quicker cars, but... I, I cannot remember any sort of car having the, the same sort of performance over the, the rest of the field right? that, uh, that uh, the Mercedes car had in 2014. So, yeah, I know. Karen Shandert came out, uh, basically replied to Lewis on Twitter. Well, not Lewis directly, but he, re he replied to like a tweet that was quoting what Lewis said. And he says, yeah, like the Red Bull's quick, but you know it's only the start of the season. Plus, um, he remembers Mercedes having a 1.4 second gap over their nearest rivals back in 2014-15. So, I mean, yeah, 1.4 second gap. I mean, the Red Bull don't have that. No, they do not have that. They're nowhere near that sort of level of performance. When you look at Bahrain, it was, what, four times to Leclerc? And honestly, it didn't even look like... I thought... It didn't look like uh, Verstappen was going to get pulled. Sainz had a great chance. Yeah, see... And, he, and, and, and what would have happened if Leclerc did a second run? See, in 2014, 15 and 16, see, 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 I think that there was only one race where a team actually beat them to pole on merit, and it was 2014 Austria, because Williams just had, had a the fucking, straight line speed They had a spaceship, and it's not like, it was, it, it was not like they did it by, it was close, it was minuscule amounts, right? And seeing you look at this red, but we're two races in, as we've said, but... Well, see, Leclerc wasn't even that far behind Perez there. I know. And then in the opening race, I mean, it, it looked like Paul could have went either way. Who knows what would have happened if Leclerc had a second run. Sainz was actually up going into the final sector. He was up on first starting. He just couldn't put it together when it counted. So, again, it's not like we're seeing first start. It's not like we're seeing the Red Bulls dominate like we have in previous years. To me, this this just smells of desperation. Lewis Hamilton again. <laughs> yeah, he's good. He's great. But I think he is overrated, man. I do. I think... I think the seven world titles has went to his head. Honestly, I feel like you can put any decent driver on that Mercedes and... They'd be walking out with a lot of titles. Yeah, I mean, especially when he had Bottas as his teammate. I mean, I'm just being honest. You tell me Alonso wouldn't have done that. Exactly. You tell me like a Leclerc wouldn't have done that. Let's be real, right? You tell me Verstappen wouldn't have done that. He's came out and said this because, one, it makes him look better, and two, it undermines Verstappen. That's exactly why he's saying it, isn't yeah. it? Because the twi... So, I mean, he's not going to turn around and say, oh, they're on level playing field. Of course, he's not going to say that because then that makes his Mercedes, he looks as equal as Verstappen. But Verstappen is doing what he's doing. I mean, he didn't even win that race there. And there wasn't really a point in that race where I thought, that Red Bull's like, oh, two seconds a lap quicker. No, all right, after the safety car, Perez pulled the gap. But Alonso, we got him it, bottled the restart. He did. And Verstappen, yeah, he overtook the Mercedes and Alonso relatively easy. But we know they've got the fastest car. It's not. It's nowhere near the gaps that they're talking about. No. Red yeah. Bull will not win every race this season. Definitely not. And even if they do, right, which they won't, Red Bull's domination here, I think it's down to the fact that Mercedes and Ferrari have dropped the ball. Look at Aston Martin. Aston Martin are, what, second or thereabouts? They've gained 1.5 seconds. Yeah. If anything, it's because of the other two teams. So uh, is the Red Bull the quickest car? Is it the most dominant car we've ever seen? Or have Ferrari and Mercedes just delivered a car that isn't so good? Uh, yeah, and obviously, I get it, right? Whoever a team delivers or delivers or not, it still can be dominant. But it, it, it's not like Red Bull have completely tore up the regulations here and produced a car that no one else can produce. I, I, I wouldn't even say this is the most dominant car in years. I think, I, I think the Mercedes in 2020 
it's more dominant for absolutely I mean, Max did well to get on the podium quite a lot of times and he sometimes he got the car between Bottas and Hamilton like but that that Merck in 2020 was pretty much an elite zone exactly uh, alright maybe you could argue 17, 18 were pretty close 19 um Mercedes kind Ferrari of Ferrari when they had an illegal engine were alright I guess um, but yeah no, I'm just not seeing this in 2014, 15 and 16 were easy wins easy title wins for Mercedes you never went into a session thinking Mercedes aren't going to win unless they took each other out or retired and uh, put it this way I mean people uh, over the last couple of seasons have actually been predicting others to win titles rather than hell I predicted Ferrari I might be wrong but I predicted them yeah. see, into, see, see, see after seeing what happened in 2014 you were never predicting anyone other than Mercedes to win the titles in the following years. Of course not. So, again, Lewis Hamilton here. Uh, yeah, the Red Bull's good car, it's quick. But to say it's the most dominant car he's ever seen, I'm, I'm just not buying that. It, it's just, it's untrue, right? You look at qualifying, yeah, Max wasn't in it. But two weeks in a row now, yeah, Red Bull were favourite for quality, but it was close enough. Now, how far are we going back? Because I've seen, like we've discussed, we've seen like at least four or five seasons where the Mercedes has been more dominant. Well, let's be real, we've seen more dominant Red Bulls. Yeah. We've seen more dominant, 2013, 2011. I'd say those, those Red Bull cars more dominant. The Braun in 09 was more dominant than this year. car. Um, Ferraris, we've seen Ferraris more dominant, easily more dominant than this. And, you know, you go back, we've seen dominant Williams. Was it 92? Williams was pretty much was 92. 92. Uh, right. Pretty much unbeatable. We've seen McLarens where, you know, the McLaren, we've seen like Senna and Prost where no one else could really get near them. So to say this is the most dominant car you've ever seen or the most dominant car of all time is quite clearly wrong. And it's after two races. After two races. It's not like he's saying at the end of the year. Proof. What, what proof? It's two races. Yeah, two races. So we'll see. Again, we'll see. But Hamilton, I think he's just spat the dummy. You know what? It's always going to say, come down to us. Oh, I think his head went a wee bit after the whole 2021 fiasco. But, but you know Russell what? has shown him up here. You know what? He, Hamilton can come out and he can make excuses. He can say his, his Mercedes isn't quick. He can say the Red Bull's too quick. But at the end of the day, you're right. Ever since Russell joined the team, you'd have to say Russell's been the better of the two. Yeah. Well, I'd say so. I'm not saying Russell smoked them or anything like that, but I think you'd have to say Russell... Well, he's got more points. Yeah. He outscored them last season. He's outscoring them this season. I know it's early days. I'm pretty sure he got more podiums last season. I think he's just been the better driver of the two. Yeah, I, I, he's been far more consistent. And I think that's, I think that's also adding pressure to Hamilton. Exactly. I think it's one thing him not him not being able to win is one thing, but him being shown up by let's be honest, someone who's kind of in F one terms is almost like a rookie. Well, not a rookie, but you know what I mean. It's his first like opportunity in a a car that is capable, and you know he he just literally came in and beat Hamilton in his first season. And that's another thing. Even if you look at even when you look at his first race, he came in and he was beating Bottas. I know. So I, I don't know, and uh, <laughs> you know, it just doesn't doesn't make Hamilton look very good. Let's put it that way. No, it, it definitely doesn't. You know, Russell's like the, the new hungry young lion, and Hamilton's and if, like the old. And if Hamilton's so good, should he not be beating forty one year old Alonso in an Aston Martin? It's a wee bit quicker. You know, for Alonso turning forty two soon. Honestly, man, Hamilton should stop moaning. He, he's he's had great cars over the years. I can't think of one car Lewis Hamilton had that was an absolute dog. Uh, the, the only one that comes to mind is probably the McLaren 2009. And he still won races. Yeah, I think he won two races with that. It did get better towards the end, but the first half of the season... But 2009 is prime example of dominant cars. Yeah, because everyone was playing catch-up. See the first see, see the first, see, first half of the season. See, unless you were in the Braun, Toyota, or the BMW, you were, you'd need a chance. They, they were, BMW, mate? What were they doing? Was that the BMW Cyber? No, they were shite. No, they weren't? Aye, they were. They, no, they were one of the better teams. No, they weren't. What are you talking about? Do you know what season we're on about here? 2009, aye. Let's just leave it at Braun. Toyota were good. Aye, aye. who's the other team then? Maybe it wasn't BMW Sauber. There was three teams that got away with the double diffuser thing. What? And no no one done it as good as Braun, but there was another team. It was Toyota? No, I just said there was three teams. Yeah, I don't know who the other team is. I think it's BMW Sauber. Force India? Maybe Force India. Nah, BMW Sauber. I think, I think they started off the season really well. Well, well, I know, I know, I know, Kibitz and Fettel took each other out in El, uh, Melbourne, but anyway, that's it. Hamilton, he spat the dummy. So is Russell. I mean, the entire team spat the dummy. Yeah, total wealth. He's just a big dummy spitter, isn't he? Oh, Lewis, Lewis, we've given you a card that's not worthy of your possession. It's almost like he's afraid. And then he's like, oh, if we don't deliver a car in the next couple of years that's capable of delivering a title, Lewis could leave Mercedes. 
we talk about the next couple of years. Guy's fucking 37. Yeah, 38. 38. I mean, he's no spring chicken anymore. No. Lewis Hamilton will no, not win another on. race, let, in my opinion. Let's be honest, right? See, see Lewis Hamilton sticks at Mercedes for another two years, right? Then he decides to leave, and, and he's 40 years old. And, and actually, I'm, I'm being serious. People go, oh, he can't be serious. I'm being serious. Would a top team want him at 40 years old? If he's, con- if he's been beaten by Russell three seasons in a row. If Russell beats Hamilton three seasons in a row, right? Hamilton is like 40. He hasn't had a win. And he didn't win last year. So let's say he hasn't had a win then in three seasons. Been beaten by Russell three seasons in a row. Not showing... He's not going to go... He's not going to be cheap. No. That's what I'm saying. So would a top team want him? I don't think they would. Honestly, I don't. I feel like the mottos of top teams now, they're not going to go for people that are old. I think I think Hamilton will end his career at Mercedes. I think there's different sign the loans though. The, the top teams are not going to get someone, right, who they don't think... who who. Because see, t- top teams you get Leclerc for start when you're red. But even Alonso, he, when he took out Austin Martin, he took a chance. It wasn't really a top team. He just had yeah. some faith that they could produce a good car. Not gonna but I mean, if, if Alonso parted ways with Austin Martin, I, I don't see Alonso getting a, a drive at Mercedes, or Ferrari, or, or, no, or Red Bull. Their future sorted. So yeah, no. I, I mean, if Hamilton does leave in two years' time, where's he going to end up? And he's not going to be here till Audi appear. I mean, he's not, I don't. I think he'll be retired by then. Yeah. But that's it, right? Is the Red Bull too quick? I would have liked to have seen Hamilton. Maybe for an aging, decrepit Hamilton. I would have liked to have seen Hamilton maybe leave to go to uh, Ferrari like a few years back. Remember there was always rumours that he could... I don't like to take him. Could you, same amount of mistakes Ferrari do. Could you imagine the abuse he'd be giving them? I know. And on that note, that's us guys for this video. We're not Team LH. We're Team... What, what team are we? <laughs> team... Uh... For per AOL? Oh, yeah. Not really. Spice up a bit if you want, guys. Come oh, on. Yeah. We're not too quick. Look, but again, same practice. Looks like Fernando's in the fucking Red Bull. It does, doesn't it? It does. It really does. But anyway, that's it for Fog Racing. Signing out.